Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ricky Stokes. I wrote an article earlier today concerning uh, a call from a medical provider that I got earlier this week about a uh, couple who were in their 80s who were traveling by motorhome from South Illinois and the gentleman fell and broke his collarbone. He, he could no longer drive the motorhome. The medical provider had seen that I had done news articles trying to get churches to start being involved because, you know, churches have vans and they have small buses to pick up people that are passing through Dothan and Houston County that has a wreck and their vehicle is immobilized. In case you don't know, you cannot rent a vehicle on Saturday and Sunday in Dothan unless an airplane's coming in and there happens to be a rental agency at the airport or at Toyota of Dothan, Courtney has been wonderful to come in on some Saturdays and Sundays and rent a vehicle to people. Imagine you're traveling from Dothan to Orlando, Florida, carrying your family to Disney World and in Lake City, you have a wreck and you total out your vehicle or your vehicle's immobilized and you got your wife and three or four children with you. You know no one in Lake City and you have no transportation, no way to get around nowhere to rent a vehicle well the churches have vans and small buses that sit there except on wednesday and sunday so i had written several articles not one several articles asking people churches to make available somebody on call for emergency services to know who to call well this past friday and I was going out of town, I got a call from a medical provider because they had seen those articles wanting to know if I had any lined up. Well, I didn't. But this isn't bragging on me. I don't care. I don't need your praise. I don't need your compliments. I didn't do it for anybody to compliment me. And I did not do the article trying to get recognition saying, look what Ricky Stokes did. That was not the purpose of the article purpose of the article was to make you aware in case you don't know because if you're not around emergency services then you don't know that this happens and happens frequently this is a retired 80 year old school teacher and his wife and she knew nothing about the motorhomes they'd been staying in florida for three months and they were from south illinois he couldn't drive the motorhome she didn't even know how to let the slide out she knew nothing about the motorhome i talked to him check to see if they needed care and get something to eat. They stayed in the parking lot they were in that night in the motorhome trying to decide what to do. Saturday morning, I checked with them. They decided their son, who was in St. Louis, was flying into Panama City Monday. They, were going, they had a tow dolly car. They were going to pick him up, and then he was Tuesday going to leave and drive them back to South Illinois. That wasn't their plans Friday. It's what they decided Saturday. So I got a partner that works for me at the office to follow me, carried the motor home to campground. I got their sewage hose hooked up, their water hose hooked up, their electricity hooked up, <coughs> excuse me, the car off the tow dolly hooked up, and uh, got them all set up at the campground. I wrote the article Again, not to say, look what Ricky Stokes did. I wrote the article because none of the church community, the Christian community, the whatever religion community stepped up the plate that's got bands and churches sitting there all week to have somebody on call to be able to help people that's coming through Dothan, which I think is a ministry of the church. The church is supposed to witness to others. You know, that could be a non-Christian family that they're dealing with they see that the churches take care of them and they may you win somebody to Christ. You know, hey, hey hint, hint, preachers, that's y'all's mission, you know, to win people to Christ, to increase uh, people that will go to heaven. And that's a good, easy way to minister. But none of the churches volunteer. It's also a good way to do industrial recruitment, Chamber of Commerce business community because you could have the president of a big corporation that's looking to move and they go Dothan and Alabama Houston County took care of my kids my family who was broke down coming through Dothan 
that's the place we want to be because they look after you. But none of them volunteer. There's been a lot of comments on Facebook about doing things and nobody knowing anything about it. Well, it was hard for me to tell the story of what the need without telling the story of what was done. I don't, I don't need, first off, understand, I don't need your approval for what I do. I do a lot of things that you don't know that I do. I do a lot of things to help a lot of people. And I don't tell a story that I don't really want to tell, but I'm going to tell it. I had a girl call me not long ago, said, I want to tell you something. I'm seven years clean. I have my children back. You are one mean individual to me. Extremely mean. But because of you, I'm alive today and I have my children back. Now, I'm going to tell you, it's not because of me. It's because God used me. And I'll further tell you that I've written $250,000 worth of bonds for people that would commit their life to Teen Challenge for one year that has changed their lives. I'm not telling you that to pat myself on the back. I don't need your pats. I don't need your compliments. I don't need your, oh, good job. I have a peace because I know God used me and put me in a position to use me to connect the cords. Ricky Stokes didn't do anything except connect cords. But the purpose of my story was preachers have a real hard time. They're great from the pulpit out, but they ain't worth a flip back towards the pulpit. It's to try to wake them up and try to wake some of you flock in the congregation up to say there is a need. There's a need in the emergency services world for the church community to take care of those passing through Dothan that's disabled because of a tragic set of circumstances and minister to them. And that was the purpose of the article. So all of you haters, which I really doesn't bother me whether you like me or not, it doesn't really bother me whether you're critical of me or not. Uh, but it was to make you aware this is a real true life part of Dothan, Alabama, of Houston County, and the Wiregrass area. It's not just here. It's, it happens all over, everywhere in every other war, uh, area of the country of people having wrecks and disabled and may not can get a rental car. And it's a great community service. And the vans and buses are just sitting there. Most of the time, your tires dry rot because they're only used on Wednesdays and Sundays. And it's a good way for you to be able to help and help somebody else and help promote a positive impact on Dothan and Houston County. And not only that, maybe, maybe, to use that opportunity to win somebody over to Christ if you can figure that out and get out of your box and think about it. So those of you that want to talk about me and you want to be critical of me and you want to say that I was trying to, that you're supposed to do things and not tell anybody about it, I wasn't doing it to tell you about it that look what I did. I was doing it to tell you about it to say, look, this is a need. This is a real need. So if you can walk and chew gum and understand the English language, that was the message I was trying to give, not about what I did. There's a need every day that happens through this city and this county. If you don't believe me, ask police, fire, sheriff. Ask emergency management. Ask your emergency services. And some of your preachers get off your dwarfs and some of your deacons get off your dwarfs and do something. It's a good way to minister. And you know what? You might could reach somebody for Christ that's unchurched. You might could be an example. You might could be a shining light that you're not. And by ignoring it. Um, I didn't do this for so you like it. Uh, preachers, I have found through experience you're real good coming from the pulpit out but you're not real good going back to the pulpit i really don't care whether you like what i got to say or not have a good day this is ricky stokes